All the Tom and Jerry videos you see in this page are AI generated and they are one minute long. Okay, so the length of the video is one minute long and all these videos are produced directly by a video generation model in a single shot without editing, stitching or post processing. So I came across this interesting new paper, one minute video generation with test time training. So let's look into what it is. Okay. So this is a story summary and this is the full prompt for generating this particular one minute video of Tom and Jerry. Okay. These videos are quite amazing. You can check these one minute videos over here in this particular web page. So transformers today still struggle to generate one minute videos because self attention layers are inefficient for long context. There are alternatives such as Mamba layers, but they struggle with complex multi scene stories because their hidden states are less expensive. So they experiment with something called as test time training layers whose hidden states themselves can be neural networks, therefore more expressive. By adding this test time training layers into a pre-trained transformer, it enables the transformer to generate one minute videos from st text storyboards. That's the idea. For proof of concept, they have curated a data set based on Tom and Jerry cartoons. Compared to baselines such as Mamba 2 or Gator, Delta Net and sliding window attention layers, these layers generate much more coherent videos that tell complex stories. And this is a 5 billion parameter model. Okay. So what is this test, try, uh, uh, test time training layers? They are RNN layers where the hidden state is a machine learning model and the update rule is a step of gradient descent. So there is this previous work. You can check that to understand more. Okay. Um, so they have designed a new architecture which replaces the hidden layers of an RNN with a machine learning model. Okay. So what is their approach over here? Their approach simply adds test time training layers to a pre-trained diffusion transformer and fine tunes it on long videos with text annotations. Okay. To keep cost manageable, they limit self attention to local segments and let uh, this TTT layers operate globally. They also created an on chip tensor parallel algorithm to implement an efficient test time training MLP kernel. So further details are present in the paper. You can check it out. So this is a paper from Karan Dalal and co-authors. Okay. Uh, so if you look at over here, what they're saying is that local attention struggles with consistency in Tom and Jerry's Tom's color, Jerry's mustache and distorts Tom body. Okay. But when you introduce this TTT layers over here, TTT MLP layer demonstrates strong character and temporal consistency across the entire duration of the video. So I expect that this technique will be, you know, implemented by all video generators in the future for more consistent, longer videos. Okay. So this particular technique outperforms all other baselines in temporal consistency, motion smoothness and overall aesthetics as measured by human evaluation scores. So here they say that in this video, um, uh, this TTT MLP preserves temporal consistency over scene changes and across angles. So time as the time uh, in the video increases, the consistency is maintained. Okay. Whereas Mamba 2, which is a competitor or which was a previous technique, it distorts Tom's appearance as he growls and chases Jerry. So you can see that consistency difference between TTD MLP and Mamba 2. Whereas a gated delta net lacks temporal consistency across different angles of Tom, sliding window attention alters the kitchen environment and duplicates Jerry stealing the pie. So if you look at these three models, there are existing issues with respect to temporal consistency, which is overcome over here. Okay. So that is what they say over here. Then the limitations are that uh, the generated one minute video demonstrate clear potential as a proof of concept, but still contain notable artifacts. For example, here the boxes morph between the three second segments of the same video. Okay. If you see the boxes over here, they are not consistent. Right. Motion naturally. The cheese hovers in mid air rather than falling naturally to the ground. 
okay if you see over here in this particular video you can see that the cheese kind of hovering rather than falling naturally to the ground okay so that's what they say over here see you can see the cheese kind of hovering in the air okay so motion naturalness and aesthetics the lighting in the kitchen becomes dramatically brighter as tom turns uh, turns around let's see that part yeah see the brightness in the video you lose that lighting consistency over here so still there are some issues which needs to be uh, improved but this technique is promising that's what the author says and this is a very specific uh, proof of concept where they have actually fine tuned it on tom and jerry videos but all these tom and jerry videos which are you know present over here have been created with prompts and with this particular model okay now i think all the other video generation labs would look into this paper and then they would try to see how they can implement this in their video generation models for longer consistent videos so their code is present on github they have also released a paper so you can check their paper uh, for further details hope this video is useful see you in another video